you know what this video is about. Let's get into it. All right, we're going to start with some guitar. I think I'm going to start with the Strat. I feel like that's the tone we're going for. Let's see. I'm going to tilt this way. I'm sorry. It's just, you hear the feedback? I don't really know why, but whatever. All right, so now that we've got a lead, let's listen to it. I think I started here, so that. It's a bit off, so I'm just gonna warp it a little bit. And that should be good. Now in order to get that, oh, in order to get that um, oldish feel, not oldish, but like softer sort of feel, you know in Gone Girl it's like, I mean, to me anyway, it's like noticeably a super soft and like melancholy song. So to get that vibe from the guitar, we're going to tune everything down. So let's do just like three semitones. And if you'll notice, it's super dry and it's sounding good already. So what we're going to do, I'm going to throw a Haas effect on. Haas effect is basically just a widener, just a really good widener. Gonna throw a bit of EQ on. And then a lot of these songs use a lot of chorus, so. Throw on our reverb send. Then we'll do the same thing. Perfect. And maybe we'll have one more just to give it something. Um, I'm going to pitch this up five and then I'm going to pitch it down. Let's try that out. Now we'll uh, we'll throw some RC20 on it, just because like obviously, obviously we're gonna throw RC20 on it, throw RC20 on everything, especially on beats like this. Now there's gonna be a lot of sub as soon as we add the 808s, so we're gonna cut quite a bit off of these guitars. It'll be fine actually. Now we're gonna add my drums. Uh, my drums are just a mixture of, I'll show you here, it's a mixture of like an Aries um, kit and a Travis Barker kit. Alright, the uh, latter half of that was fine. As you can see, my drumming is very messed up, so we're just going to quantize it. And then we'll add like a... And then we'll add a triplet. So if you do control three, you can go to triplet mode. And there we go. And maybe we'll just do that as well. Simple. Might even add another kick in there. Now, uh, the hi-hats are gonna sound very boring. So what I do is I throw an auto pan on it. Turn it up a little bit, make it slow. Now it's moving around. Sometimes I'll throw a phaser on it too, just lightly. And it's changing up a little bit. 
and then to make it a little more entertaining, we throw just a random loop on. Um, I love cymatics. I don't use like their drums too, too much, but I, I use their loops a lot. It's kind of cool. It's cool if we uh, just filter it a little bit. smooth uh, now for my 808s I use serum I use a preset called I'm trying to remember it's out of the poptopia make pop music poptopia stuff I love make pop music stuff um, so we're gonna throw I don't know let's just throw that's kind of cool actually Too much, eh? That's kind of cool. I just want this to last a little longer. There's that's better. Let's go for it. And then we'll throw another instance of serum on. Um, if you don't have serum, get serum. I paid it like uh, in the splice thing. I paid for splice and then I like rented it. And then it one day it just gave it to me because I paid it off. Not that that's really of any interest, but you know, if you can't pay for it all, just, just use a subscription version of it. There we go. All right, now let's arrange it. So I'm gonna move everything over here and then we're gonna go start here. Oh, there's our synth. There we go. There we go. Cool. And then we'll half time it here or something. Actually, we'll change the 808 a little bit. There we go. Notice there's a bit of a uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. There we go. Right here, we're gonna cut it. And that is where we cut in. Now we'll throw some symbols on, you know, typical, typical trap shit. And instead of the room reverb, which is what my send is, it's just Valhalla room. Right here. Um, we're just going to throw on the Valhalla Vintage, a little more lush, even a super massive just for, just for fun. Um, mess around with this. I take it back. I don't want super massive, but I do want a lot of decay on the vintage. And maybe even a riser, you know? Um, Kind of risers we got. We can just use a symbol. Let's 
There we go. And then we're going to go from verse straight to chorus. Actually, no, verse to pre-chorus to chorus, but we're just going to switch up a little bit. Because these tend to be quite short songs. So I'll just place that. And then we'll do like a, I don't know, like a, like this. And then if you want the drums to knock, funnily enough, we'll throw knock on them. here I'm not going to add anything like you can see the layers oh weird noise um you can hear the layers here I'm not gonna put them here because I want a little bit of dr this noise is really annoying me um a little bit of dramaticness a little more emphasis on this chorus Everything starts on beat. As far as I know, it does. Yes. And that's it. That's the entire beat right there. Super simple. Um, kind of felt like Nick Mira on this one. <laughs> uh, just doing a bunch of parts and composing. Um, nothing super crazy. Uh, if I wanted to go crazy with it, I totally would. But I feel like for the vibe... It needs something mellow, something melancholy, something not mediocre, but mellow and melancholy. Anyway, I hope you learned something. Uh, this was super fun. I don't really do this often, so let me know if it was helpful. Okay, goodbye.